Field and Stream salutes all the sponsors for the 2009 Total Outdoorsman Challenge. Welcome back to the 2009 Field and Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge in Dogwood Canyon. We're right in the middle of our first event, the Shotgun Challenge. Let's catch up on the action. They have been busting some birds up here at Seven Mule Pass. Peter Mosby jumped out to an early lead with a score of 33, while returning competitor Scott Marson put up a disappointing score of 17. Bill Bond, our youngest competitor, notched a solid score of 31, while Ryan Straley set the high mark with an excellent post of 34. Going into the next round, he's the one to beat. Taking the course now are Tom Boatwright and Paul Thompson. Paul Thompson, Marion, North Carolina. And I have won this event the past three years, um, hoping to make it four. Yeah, go, 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 go. I, I never think, man, I got it in the bag. I mean, uh, I've seen some guys with that attitude before, and they took a bag home with them, but it's a bag of lunch. Tom Boatwright, Perdita, Alabama. You got so many different events. You got to be decent at a lot of different things. Being able to handle the pressure, try to stay calm, but it don't always work. <laughs> if I had to pick one rookie to win it, Boatwright would be the man. Let's take it back to Allen for the action. Let's see how Paul starts his 2009 quest for a four-peat. Oh. With a dead pair and three points. Oh, missed the one bird. Paul showing why he's been a three-time champion of this event. Here comes the four bird. Great shot. Right in the middle of it. These guys have two shots apiece left. The big six bird. Here we go. Dead on the first one. Dead on the long six. Great shot. Paul missed the six. That's six birds giving everybody fits. Paul Thompson's score of 31 will put him right in the middle of the pack. However, rookie Tom Boatwright has just set the mark. He's our new leader with a score of 36. Man, you can tell these guys really want it. And why not? There's more than just pride on the line. Earlier this week, Eddie went to the Bass Pro Shops to show us what they're gunning for. I'm at Bass Pro Shops flagship store in Springfield, Missouri. Let's check out what our field is competing for. The prize for each event will be a memento of that specific discipline. For shotgun, the top shooter walks away with Smith & Wesson's Elite Silver over and under 12 gauge. The bass fishing winner scores a BPS Extreme Series Rod and Reel Combo and a $250 gift certificate to Bass Pro Shops. In 22 Rifle, our top competitor will win a Thompson Center Venture Bolt Action. In our archery event, the top shooter walks away with a diamond stud bow. The top angler in fly fishing wins a White River 270 Rod and Reel Combo and a $250 gift certificate to Bass Pro Shops. For ATV, the winner will get a $500 accessories gift certificate from Yamaha. And the grand prize for the 2009 Total Outdoorsman Challenge is $25,000 and a spanking new Yamaha Grizzly. Next up to shoot are Brian Kramer and Randy Hendricks. Randy Hendricks, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This is my first year. So the main thing is just relax, let it float. Brian Kramer, Bedford, Texas. This is my third time to the Total Outdoorsman's Challenge. My mantra all year has been third time's a charm, so this is the time I'm gonna do it. Let's go to Alan for the call. Look at the focus on Randy Hendricks' face. He knows his way around a shotgun, he's got good form. I look for him to post a big score. Got the one. Got the three, four points. Dead pair. Oh. 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 
Right there, Randy lost an easy four points. You gotta get that one to hit the four. Just like a one and one in basketball. If you don't hit the first one, you have no chance at the second one. Oh. Brian's shaking his head. There we go. There we go. Randy, come back through now. This is an important one. He needs to hit this six. Again, that six bird takes down another victim. He comes out with the head hanging low. You know, Brian's been in the competition a couple of years. He knows what it takes to win. Got to be disappointed in starting a competition like that. Brian Kramer came in with a score of 22, while Randy Hendricks ended up with a 27. Boatwright is looking very strong. Don't go anywhere. Our final competitors are ready to go in the shotgun competition at Seven Mule Pass.